Oh, hey. It's Frank from the Spot 518, and we are here at Lionheart. And we're going to be talking to Hunter from Wingman of the Year. And he's going to give us some hot tips on where to get your drink on on New Year's Eve. But first, a word from our sponsors over at The Spinny. That's right. We are brought to you by The Spinny. It truly is the best place for that 55 and better community to live well. Call 518-689-0162 or visit thespinny at vandyke.com to learn more about our pre-leasing process today. Thank you so much to The Spinny for sponsoring us. Hey folks, we are back here with Hunter from Wingman of the Year. How you doing, man? Good, I'll, I'll tell you what, you got the right guy for this conversation. I uh, happen to be an uh, expert on bars, especially in this area. That's very true, folks. He actually does some um, bar reviews you may have seen over on their Instagram, which we'll leave a link in the description. But as you know, Hunter, New Year's Eve is on its way. It's one of the biggest party nights of the year, and our audience would love to know where the great spots around town are to get their drink on this holiday season. Well, that's a great question. So let me start off by saying, I'm from Wingman of the Year. Wingman move is to have a plan before you go out. Get a DD. Don't assume that you're like, oh, I'll figure it out as the night goes on. You're going to have a couple too many of these, a couple cold ones, and you, you could make a bad decision. Have a plan. Find a DD. Heck, you might even be the DD. That's the call to action. Do that. But where I'm going to be going out, Frank, is where we are right now, most likely. And I'll tell you why. This is Lionheart, for those that don't know. Yeah. Okay, Albany, New York. I can walk here. That is my plan. You see, you see how I did that? Yeah, plan? That, perfect. That is, I already got my plan figured out. I know where I'm Sorry, at. Sorry, number one, it's walkable. Walkability is everything, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so Lionheart, you know, it's got a mixed vibe, okay? Like, you got technically two and a half floors. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure you'll put some B-roll in here, given the whole show and whatnot. Yeah. But uh, it's it's chill. You got like fireplaces. You get a, it's usually busy, especially on the busy nights of the year, like yeah. New Year's, Year's Eve, Eve and whatnot. Most of the Friday nights, because we're near a college, so it's kind of a college town hangout. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's one of the more popular bars. It's mm -hmm. like the center of Albany, so it doesn't miss. I'll, I'll say that it's it's a layup as far as bars go in Albany. Mm -hmm. You can't miss. Um, you're, you're gonna have a good time, you know what I mean? Uh, second bar, I'll throw it out there, we'll stick with Albany. It's probably the busiest bar as of right now because of the college kids, mm -hmm. is the Albany Beer Garden. That place is packed every night. Like, every weekend night, obviously. Mm -hmm. But like, you could go there and watch soccer, you know, World Cup just happened, great spot for that. But it is a college bar now, and that's changed over the years from what I've been talking to people about. Mm -hmm. So it used to not really be the spot, but it is now, since COVID, it is packed every Friday, Saturday night. If you're looking for a lot of people, a lot of interaction, Beer Garden's the spot for you. It's a great spot if you're looking for that. It is a college crowd, so be ready for that. Yeah. Okay? That's what I like about Lionheart. You get a little mix of mm -hmm. adults and college age. Yeah. So it's... And then Beer Garden, more college age, you'd say, right? 100%. 100%. That is like all it so is. So yeah, a lot there. younger crowd, and make sure you go there maybe early so you can get your drink first. We got Lionheart, we got Beer Garden. I'm going to keep it Albany, and then we're going to switch it up a little bit. All right, so number three. My number three bar, uh, and like I said, no particular order, is right across the street. I'm looking at it right now. It is Lark Tavern, okay? Just opened up uh, at the end of the summer. It was closed down for a little bit. It's rebranded. It is a great spot, and I'll tell you why. It is more of an adult vibe. Um, you get the younger crowd in there, but you, you got like the probably like 30 year old mm -hmm. age in there, okay? Okay. And I'll tell you what, it's got two vibes. You got the vibe in the front where it's just bar, 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 get your drinks, you know? Mm -hmm. And in the back, they got great entertainment. They got all sorts of, they're very unique with what they do. It almost yeah. looks like a comedy club in there. Okay. So if you haven't been to Lark Tavern since it's been open, I suggest getting over there. And it's not as packed as Lionheart will be. Mm -hmm. So. If you're looking for something that's not as crowded, but it's got a chill vibe, and you're in Albany, I'd go there, and it's a walkability. You can uh, bar hop between Lionheart and uh, Lark Tavern. It's so, it's, uh, it's a pro move right there. Yeah, so to kind of sum it up for at least those first three in Albany, got Lionheart, which is kind of a mix of both. You got the college crowd, but kind of a breathable space that got a lot of entertainment. <coughs> and then you got Beer Garden, which is more college skewed, you know, a little tougher to get to, but it's more of that social gathering, you know, for younger folk. And then you got Lark Tavern over there, which is, again, more skewed, older crowd. So it's kind of the same deal you get at Beer Garden, but just more older. So a good mix of both, depending on what you're looking for. So if you're looking for both, come here. If you're looking for younger crowd, 
Beer Garden, Older Crowd, Lark Tavern, and I can drink to that. All right, so you said you had some other bars around the area, or yeah. at least outside of Albany. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you my top five that I'm probably going to. Like I said, this is my list. It, I, yeah. You people can do whatever you want, you know, people watching and whatnot. So fourth place, this place we actually just did some content with here at Wingman of the Year, okay? okay? Uh, we were sponsors on the SantaCon with them in the, the Saratoga SantaCon. So if you're looking to travel or if you're in Saratoga, um, the Sound Bar. Sound Bar uh, used to be the reserve, mm -hmm. but it is... It's one of a kind, okay? Uh, it, it is really one of the main places, especially in Saratoga, that fits that vibe where it's like a, a nightclub, mm -hmm. okay? You, you don't get that too often. So if you're specifically looking for dancing or something, I totally recommend the sound bar. My fifth bar, mm -hmm. uh, it's our highest, because I told you we do bar reviews, okay? Yeah. My, our highest ranked bar that we've done so far at Wingman of the Year is Frog Alley. In Schenectady. Yep, and we actually advertise with those folks in our newspaper. It's actually part of our entertainment section. So if you're a subscriber to the Spot Five and Eight, you've definitely seen Frog Alley Brewing. Yeah. So Frog Alley, there's a reason it got our highest like review. Yeah. It, the entertainment is insane. They have the best entertainment. The music, they got they got like an, enough room for like two stages. The place is huge. Yeah. Frog Alley's top tier. So I highly recommend going there if you're out in Schenectady. So Frog Alley Brewing. Big venue, lots of entertainment, and then uh, sound bar. It sounds like it's a little bit smaller, but kind of has the same mix of entertainment, music, and drinks and stuff. A right? If you're like in party mode, yeah, out of all mode. these bars I just said, get to sound bar. Okay, so sound bar is more of the hip party place, and Frog Alley Brewing is just kind of like everything else. Like if you want like comedy, big time music, and just a ton of yeah. Know, if, if you want a craft beer, if you you could go there with your family, you could go there with if you're three 20 and one year old guys, girls, yeah. get over there. You could bring your dog there. It's, it's a great place. Perfect. It really depends on what you're looking for here. And I think with my list here, I've given a yeah. little bit of everything. So a lot of variety and everything. So yeah, we got sound, entertainment, music, um, for older and younger crowds or somewhere in between. And I hear you have some honorable mentions. Is that correct? I sure do. Okay. Honorable mentions for bars that I, I personally like. There's, there's tons of bars out there. Okay. But let's, I'll do it by region. Saratoga, another bar that I love, is Tap and Barrel. Okay, it's a little more, it's, it's like light country. Mm. You know what I mean? It's not like, so, you don't got a mechanical bowl in there, but it, it touches on it just enough. Mm. They always got like karaoke. It's, there's a lot of room in there. They got arcade games, pool tables. It's a really good vibe. I love Tap and Barrel. That's my next bar on my list for uh, Saratoga. And what else we got here? Um, Schenectady, Center Street Pub. You cannot go wrong. That is a great spot, great food. Uh, when it's not cold, it's they got a great yeah. outdoor patio. They're also in our newspaper, so yeah, if you've seen them there, you already know, folks. But uh, Center Street Pub, you really can't go wrong. It's another great spot. A lot of elbow room, good people, younger crowd. It's actually more of a mixed crowd. Um, mm -hmm. What else do I got here? Troy. I, I don't go to Troy often, but if you do, there's a lot of great bars. Um, the Ruck. Oh yeah. That is a good spot. That is a great spot. Um, what else we got? Franklin Alley. Franklin Alley is, uh, if you know about it, that's a good one. You got it like uh, the shuffleboard down there and whatnot. Yep. Uh, that's a favorite of mine when I go to Troy. I don't go to Troy often, but yeah. Troy's got a good like bar scene. It's yeah. like they're like close together. There's like two spots like yeah. there of Troy. Like you can walk to all of them. That's the, the only thing with Albany. The bars are is they're kind of separated. There's like three yeah. hubs in Albany, and but the walkability. That's why I recommend Lionheart and yeah. Lark Tavern. And you got a couple other bars on Lark Street. Because again, no drinking and driving. Make sure where you're going is walkable. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I think that's mainly what I got for uh, honorable mentions, of especially where you're going to see me and uh, yeah. what you're into. I think we touched on a couple of uh, different types of bars and whatnot. For sure. Well, these have all been great. And again, all the links to all these places will be in the description on our channel. You can check this video out on YouTube. You can check out Hunter over at his page. We're actually going to be doing a little interview with him come next week. For wingman of the year find out a little more about his good old story <laughs> <laughs> um, but you've been fantastic thank you so much for joining us today and cheers folks all right i need to get another Have one a good of new these year. happy new year be a wingman yep and be safe drink responsibly yes